Guys, this is Do You Want a Bit of Brony? And I, I am ready. I am ready for the season three finale of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Alright, this has been a rather short road, but not an enjoy. <laughs> but I won't say it wasn't an enjoyable one. Man, this season had great episodes. And I'm not going to get too uh, too much into the detailings on how great this series was. That's for my review of the entire series and my hopes for the next one I'm going to see. So I'm going to save this in uh, recap and stuff inside until I get to that certain video. <clears throat> now, ooh, well, no, 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 let's just get started. We're not going to waste any time with this. We're going to hurry up and get to the episode. It seems like we can bring it up finally. And uh, so, thanks, Amy Larson. Finally, I will get to understand why, <laughs> why, why this was like a thing when when it was just me and my friends around. And on that very day, he was like, "Thanks, Amy Larson. Thanks, Amy Larson." Da -da -da. So interesting. I, I'm 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 intrigued now. I'm ready. Ready, because after this, I get to the movie, and after that, I get to the season four, and then that, uh, I, I'm part of the waiting, I have to play the waiting game for season five, and then the other movie that's supposed to come out, which, thanks to one guy in the com uh, comments, I, I now know the movie is called Equestria Girls, and now that I know uh, the title, I no longer have to... Uh, now I can downgrade some of my thinking habits for it, because first I thought it was going to be like a climactic movie, uh, Discord is free, and you know, big thing, but something like the Equestria Girls doesn't sound all that action-y. Or I could be completely wrong, I don't know. But after this, I will be doing the movie afterwards, my friend already gave me like the entire layout. it's going to be season 1, 2, 3, movie, season 4, and if I make it in time or something like that, it's going to be the second movie that's apparently coming out. So obviously the first movie was a success if it was good enough to earn a second one. Now, in three, two, one, now. Ponyville's really shining today, isn't it? Fastest song opening I've ever seen. So a song about how great everything is today. Things are gonna go wrong. There's the sofa clerk selling some quills. Morning, kid. My pony bill is so gentle and still. Can things ever go wrong? I don't think that they will. Some people from Kenrolli came to visit, and now they got people dancing on their tables. Morning and pony bill shimmers. Morning and pony bill shines. And I know for absolute certain. Conflict. Rainbow Dash, that's not funny. Terribly sorry, darling. I'm afraid I'm, I'm not good with the thundery ones. 
Something tells me everything is not going to be fine. Okay, this is a conflict. Rarity has rambled as a security mark. Alright, uh, can I think of anything before the actual episode kicks in? I have no idea. Okay. So, so now Rarity's Rainbow Dash. So I'm guessing Rainbow Dash is now Rarity. This is probably like a parallel universe. No, no, no. Rarity clearly seemed like she didn't know what she was doing, so... Alright. What are you doing? What happened to your cutie mark? Sir, Megan McCarthy. I'm simply doing what I've done since the day of first appeared. M.A. Larson. Oh, he written this. Magical mystery cure. Where is Rainbow Dash? Why isn't she handling this? Uh, I'd like to know that. I still don't know what you had to wake me up for. Spike, this I is important. sleeping in the rain. It's not about the weather, Spike. Rarity had Rainbow Dash's cutie mark and said this was Rainbow Dash's cottage. What? <laughs> That's Something a little strange is going weird. on. Hey, guys. Rainbow Dash, why is Rarity doing your job? And what in Equestria is going on in... Here? Oh, another song. Yummy, what are you doing here? Ground out of control and throw their hissy fits. It's up to me to stop them, cause plainly you can see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie mark is telling me. So she has Fluttershy's cutie mark. So she's in Fluttershy's house. Keep them laughing, put a smile upon their face. But no matter what I Final. try, it seems a bit of a disgrace. I have to entertain them. It's there for all to see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie mark is telling she me. She has Pinkie Pie's cutie. Okay, these are really inconsistent, but... I don't care much for picking fruit. And Pick and meet her back! No matter what I try, I cannot fix this busted water shoot. I found the villain. First a rock farm, now an actual farm. This is Looky here at what I made. I think that it's a dress. I know she it thinks. doesn't look like much. I'm under some oh, that does not look right. Y'all give me a hand here. I mean, like the key to mark on her. My destiny is not pretty. But it's what my cutie mark is telling me. I'm in love with weather patterns, but the others have concerns. For I just gave them frostbite over top of their sunburns. Wow, that's gonna hurt. To keep on trying, for everyone can see, it's got to be. It's got to be my destiny. My destiny. And it's what my cutie mark. It's what my cutie mark. Yes, it's what my cutie mark is telling me. This is bad. This is bad. This is, this is bad. bad. What's going on? Why is this happening? I don't Last know. When you were taking one of your seven hour bubble baths, I got a special delivery. Seven hours? Why do you always do that to mail carriers? Dear Twilight Sparkle, the spell contained on the last page of this book is Star Swirl the Bearded's secret unfinished masterpiece. Really? Ooh. He was never able to get it right and thus abandon it. I believe you are the only pony who can understand and rewrite it, Princess Celestia. Oh, that's the book! From one to another, saw... another to one, a mark of one's destiny singled out alone fulfilled. It doesn't even rhyme. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even rhyme. I'm with you, Twilight. I cast the spell so I could find out what it was. Some wizard Nothing can't even think happen. of a good spell that can rhyme. But now I know something did happen. Uh. The spell has changed the elements of harmony. That must be why their cutie marks are all wrong. So just cast a counter spell to switch them back. There is no counter spell. Why don't you just use that memory spell you used to fix every pony when Discord was here? It's I don't think that's gonna work spike. either. It's their true selves that have been altered. How does that work? For the cutie pox? That won't work either. Well, so I was right. It was Star Swirl's so book. I knew they those stars swirling like around for some reason. No, Spike. They're not who they are meant to be anymore. Their destinies are now changed. So and it's all my fault. 
Oh, uh, another song. I like the piano. Always piano, man. I have to find a way to make this all okay. I can't believe this small mistake could have caused so much heartache. Oh, why? Oh, why? Yeah, yeah. with a spell that you didn't know what was gonna happen then it happened oh, come on twilight it out. you'll figure out a way to fix this these are your friends there's three songs in a row by the way you're right spike and they mean more to me than anything my friends that's why they call me twilight sparkle because i sparkle for no reason sometimes with sparkle twilight I That was, that was a nice glimmer in your eyes. Are, but I can uh -huh. show them what they mean to each other. They'll find the part of themselves that's been lost so they can help the friend they care about so much. Come on, Spike. Show them what friends are for. Fluttershy, wait. Oh, Jeez, Bon Bon. Hey, Twilight. Where are you going? I'm moving back to Cloudsdale. I don't know what's wrong, but I can't seem to make any pony laugh. Before you go, I was wondering if you might be willing to help Rainbow Dash. She's really struggling with her animals. But I don't really know anything about animals. Wow, she literally forgot her entire Dash. life like that. I How does that work? That she's a true friend, and I'll do anything I can to help her. A true friend, you know. I have like three of those. Rainbow Dash! I'm in here! Help! Hurry, Twilight! Can't you do some sort of spell to get her out? No. Fluttershy, you're the only one who can help. Rainbow Dash needs you! Um, hello? Little woodland creatures? I know that you're all very upset and feel like giving Rainbow Dash a hard time. But we'd all really appreciate it if you'd calm down and, um, maybe rest for a bit? Oh, uh, look! Here's some nice, juicy leaves for you to munch on. And some crunchy, munchy acorns, too. Uh, wouldn't you like to take a break and have a little snack? Huh. Aw, look at that. I uh, guess you were all just so bad. because you were hungry. Come on, Angel. You are very welcome, little friends. Uh, bear hug. I I bear cuddle. Them. I, I feel strange, like, like this is what I'm meant to do. Like this is who I am. My destiny. What? Oh, what got their lives back. Fluttershy, look! Your cutie mark! It's back. It worked. It worked. Oh, I'm so, so what's on Rambo Dash's side? Now we need your help. Flank. A plot. True, whatever. True you're friend saying. helps a friend that is all. in need. A friend will be there to help them see. A true, true friend helps a friend in need to see the light that shines from a true, true friend. Um, hello. I was friend about to say. Side, remember? Rarity she still has it. You try, just give it a chance. You might find that you'll start to understand. A true, true friend. Hold on. Done. 
That's that's my rainbow dash. Took care of those clouds in ten seconds flat. <laughs> just like yes, just like last time. Proved me wrong before. Do it again. Please get her out of that hairstyle right now. I think she was like the fastest. Welcome, Twilight. Twilight. You are dead. Princess, I don't understand. What You're beating you God. Do? You did something today that's never been done before. Something even a great unicorn like Star Swirl the Bearded was not able to do, because he did not understand friendship like you do. The lessons you've learned here in Ponyville huh. have taught you well. You have proven that you're ready, Twilight. Ready? Ready for what? To take step three in your training, I don't know. You've come such a long, long way. <sighs> you singing. And I've watched you from that very first day to see how you might grow, to see what you is Twilight do, straight up having her life flash before her eyes right now. Begun to go where you will go to see what 
She became a star? Oh, no, wait. Twilight? Is that no, you? Wait. Oh. I've, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Twilight's got wings! Awesome! A new flying buddy! <laughs> Why, you've become an alicorn! I didn't even know that was possible! Alicorn! Panic! <laughs> wow, you look just like a princess! That's because she is a princess. Huh? Hold on a second! <laughs> a princess? Since you've come to Ponyville, you've displayed the charity, compassion, devotion, integrity, optimism, and of course, the leadership of a true princess. But does this mean I won't be your student anymore? Not in the same way as before. I'll still be here to help and guide you, but we're all your students now, too. You are an inspiration to us all, Twilight. do now is there a book about being a princess i should read <laughs> there will be time for all of that later we are gathered here today in celebration of a momentous occasion my most faithful student twilight sparkle has done many extraordinary things since she's lived in ponyville she even helped reunite me with my sister, Princess Luna. But today, Twilight Sparkle did something extraordinary. She created new magic, proving without a doubt that she is ready to be crowned Equestria's newest princess. Phillies and gentle colts, may I present for the very first time, Princess Twilight Sparkle. The Princess Twilight's coming, behold, behold, a princess here before us, behold, 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 behold the Princess Twilight's coming, behold, behold, the Princess here, Princess here. something princess oh uh, <clears throat> a little while ago my teacher and mentor princess celestia sent me to live in ponyville she sent me to study friendship which is something i didn't really care much about but now on a day like today i can honestly say i wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for the friendships i've made with all of you each one of you taught me something about friendship and for that I will always be grateful. Today, I consider myself the luckiest pony in Equestria. Thank you, friends. Thank you, every pony. Twilight, I'm so proud of you. Are you crying? Of course not. It's, it's liquid pride. A totally different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, princess! Best coronation day ever! We love you, Twilight. I love you too, girls.
Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, you're up. That's great. It's great. Guess, guess who I saw? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, she got wings. Don't give me that. <laughs> You're hilarious. She has wings. She's a princess. She's, a, she's an out. <laughs> so, so wait, so, so, so does this mean, so does this mean the other, the other five gonna become like that too in later seasons? I don't even want to believe you anymore, man. Alright. Dude. Hey, don't give me that three. This is three in the morning. We can talk about this later. Crap. No. No. Dude. So, so this is why you pretty much just laughed when I said how I liked the formula of all the races being together and they're all two of them. Now that Twilight has wings, she can fly and shoot laser beams out of her horn at the same time. Is that, is that funny? <laughs> you, you want my honest opinion? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this in 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 the video. I'm gonna give out my honest opinion on this little thing. Okay, hold on. Let me get in the camera. About my honest opinion. You you. All right. Bye. Hold on. You're gonna get in my. You're gonna get my own opinion in the video. Watch it. This is the best thing to ever happen to any series I've ever seen in my entire life. This is what I mean. This is the definition of pushing the boundaries. This is the definition of testing the loyalty and faith of your of your viewers. This is taking your viewers seriously. This is showing that you can change. This is showing you can show you can do something completely different instead of having something be con completely consistent over and over and over again. It's just the same repeated formula. No, this is different. Twilight's a princess Alucard. She's different. She has so many, she has new windows open instead of the same windows being shut. <sighs> Family guy, lots of time skips, lots of everything. The baby's still a baby. The, the, the person was pregnant for a long time. They killed off Brian. The, uh, the things that they do change doesn't matter because they just believe that it's stupid and that it could change. The Simpsons never change. The, uh, Adventure Time sometimes just never change. Regular show does its regular show format. All these other shows just stay the same with their things and then they do minor minor little 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 come up it's and doesn't matter but in this series with that oh my god like This, this shows that I literally don't know what's going to happen, guys. I don't know what can happen in Season 4. I'm just excited to get into Season 4 now. I'm just excited to get into the movie. Because you got Twilight being a completely different... She's now... She now has a... She, she now has a higher authority. She's now a princess... Now, here's the question. What is she a princess of? There's a princess of the Crystal Empire. There's a princess of the sun. There's a princess of the moon. There's a possibility that Twilight can be the princess of the stars, meaning that she she is like the foundation of the entire universe. And, and not you not what you think. Like, she's an all-powerful. Like, she is like like the symbol of unity because all the stars in the sky make up something beautiful, all because they're all together as, as, as a single... Thing. Orion's belt would be nothing without a certain star in its place. The entire galaxy wouldn't be beautiful if no if no stars were in it, because it just opens up plenty of possibilities for Twilight. Because because you got the you got Celestia, Luna, Twilight, the sun, the moon, the stars, 
and I've noticed, like, at the end, she got that glimmer in her eye, and that reminded me of all the other glimmers in her eye. It shows that her progression, her growth as a character, it shows how much she has has gone up the steps of, of her training to then become this, this new thing of Alicorn Princess. So this, so this answers my questions on how alicorns are made. Apparently, a higher up alicorn can turn another, I'm going to guess, a highly strong magical user. Because I don't think she can do the same thing to earth ponies and pegasi. She probably can, but until I get confirmation of that, I don't know. But she she stepped up, and now she she proven herself. She's shown that level of thing. And if this, since this happened, minor things can happen as well to show change. Rainbow Dash can get into the Wonder Bolts and actually have Wonder Bolt related things to do. Uh, Pinkie Pie probably can connect more with her uh, uh, with herself of of parties. Uh, I don't I don't know other things that can really be changed, but I can expect su such big things. Such big things happen in this one series, and it's only thirteen episodes. Thirteen. 13 episodes. We got Trixie coming back. We got great a newfound development between Rainbow Dash and and Scootaloo. They're now going to be together and Scootaloo can one day learn how to fly. Probably not in season 4, probably probably in season 5, probably not even season 6, but she it shows that she is learning from her. And we get we get Discord back. Discord is one of the main things that I'm happy about. Now you got a villain now back into the series as a reoccurring character probably. You got a lot of things and then you just top it all off by changing one of the characters in your show just into this one character and then just molding her into something completely new and different and she's refreshed. she's still the same personality she's it's not like this is a completely different twilight here she's she's still a book she's probably gonna still be a bookworm different personality it's just, who knows what this could happen who knows what this could open up it's just Oh, oh my god, this is the best series. I was about to say season. No, this is the best series I've seen in a long time. And this is coming from a guy who sort of suffered, who, who started off when he was like, what, seven, maybe six years old, watching like Generation 1 of My Little Pony back when, back when they were just like on like, I think it was tapes, or I remember watching it on television with my family. And they had to suffer it through me because I found like an enjoyment to it. And it was a certain the thing that got me to it wasn't the bright colors. It wasn't things. It's the fact that it could change any moment, and it and it showed like some sort of dread. T Rex completely fell over my head. Uh, it went over my head. I did not know anything about T Rex until I saw that actual thing. The, the until I was reminded about all the horrible, horrible imagery with the with the things and the acting. But it was good. Then season then generation two came out. I don't remember anything about Generation 2, and I think that's a good thing. Generation 3, horrible, 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 horrible memories of having to sit through it with, with my cousins and other, and other siblings and stuff. But then season Generation 4. Generation 4 just blows every other generation out of the water. For just being this good. Now... I can I can probably when it comes to change not many people like change. When it comes to change, especially if they if especially if they think the change is a little bit out there, you got to look at the possibilities before you just blow it off to the wind. I'm I'm going I'm going to tell you the truth. First time I saw Twilight have wings, I was thinking like, what are they doing? Why is this happening? And then after all after that long period of time when I was just staring at the screen, I was thinking about all the things that they could do, the reason why they did this, and the reason why it could be the greatest thing ever. And it's just, it, I guess if this one thing I have to point out, it is weird how an alicorn is made. Okay, step one, die. Step two, go to heaven and meet God. Step three, allow God to allow your life to be flashed before your eyes while she sings an awesome song that brought a tear to my eye. I mean, liquid pride to my eye. 
Step four, allow God to then transfer like part of like, it looks like the magic came from her heart, like from her heart. Maybe probably, it's probably nothing, but it came from her heart, allowed the spark to again go, go to her, and then she gains wings and becomes an alicorn. And correct me if I'm wrong, this also adds a level of what maybe the other main six are going to be alicorns, but I believe it's not going to happen. The only reason why I say I think that the possibility of them becoming alicorns is there, because now since Twilight is an alicorn, she's immortal now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't alicorns immortal? I The only proof I have is Celestia and Luna being over a thousand years old, and probably Cadence being like over a thousand years old, since the Crystal Empire, Empire was probably under the rule of her father, and then stuff like that. Because she was young back when she was uh, with... Uh, Twilight, or maybe that just accounts to the flowing mane type uh, alicorns, because Cadence doesn't have a flowing mane, so it's possible that Twilight, because she doesn't have a flowing mane, she's not a full demi-demi-god, she, she could probably still grow, but since it's possible, since the possibility is there that she can't grow old, it's possible that the entirety of the world is just going to age before her, and she's going to lose her friends, you know, lose the people that she most cared of, and she's going to have to be a princess and go about these other responsibilities. So there's a possibility that the other main six are going to become alicorns, so they can stay together forever and happy, happy, fun time. But I don't think they're going to do that. One, that's too dark, so they're not, so that's just going to be up to, like, headcanon rules when, like, years go by and the series has actually come to an end. But I don't think they're going to do it because the one thing about like Family Guy or something like that that does this change, they then do something else that makes the change completely just wor worthless. <laughs> Let's just talk, uh, let me do a good example of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z used to be like my number one favorite anime and it sort of kind of still is, but it, death has literally no consequence. The change of Goku dying really means absolutely nothing as long as the Dragon Balls are in, pl in play for Goku. So, Goku dying, it's not all that dramatic of a moment if he's just going to come back with the Dragon Balls. But in this moment, when Twilight becomes an a alicorn princess, it would just pretty much downgrade the fact that why change Twilight when she still has her character, she still has her personality, she still pretty much has everything about Twilight, it's just that now she has wings. Why change the others into uh, alicorn princesses if it's just going to be pretty much the exact same thing just oh ooh, look at that they all have now the exact same power it just doesn't make any sense to do that change into a a group like that and just make the entire group the exact same thing it makes no sense it's stupid and the show is too good for that it's too good for that <sighs> the things in this things in this series thing in this one season overall just phenomenal but how, how much they can pull on the heartstrings with the songs they do, the, 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 the characters themselves are likable, and just Twilight in general changing proves that you can take risks and probably make it into something great. And this is my only proof that the Twilight with Wings is so far working. <laughs> season, the, the, season 5 is confirmed. I heard that Season 5 is confirmed. So that means season four went swimmingly, okay? And I already heard that season four is like legendary. So Twilight having wings is not a bad thing. It probably did like a whole bunch of good things, and I just can't wait to get to them. Oh man. Oh okay. I need. I need to. Uh, okay. Oh uh, all right. Um. You know, you know it would really suck right now. Like if the, you know how how the video likes to like not be video and not everything's audio. That would be really really bad right now. But I'm 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 positive it's not like that. And I'm happy, just like really happy right now, you guys. <sighs> Big change. Big change. And I'm expecting a lot, lot of different things. I'm expecting a lot of big things, and I'm just so, so, so excited, so happy right now. Okay, 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 okay. Twilight's princess. We don't know what she's princess of, but since this is called My Little Pony Friendship Is Magic, 
Twilight is magic and friendship is friendship. She should be the princess of friendship. Because it's it, like I said with the unity of the stars, she is like the princess of like unity of, of people coming together, of making something completely beautiful. And that's her and her friends, including Spike. <laughs> okay. Now, all she needs is like her own kingdom, her own castle. I, I can wait for those. I don't care how long it takes, but I want to see Twilight give it her best in this new found authority that she now gains, and pre pretty much just, just being like that. Now, enough about Twilight and all that other stuff I said. Let's get on to the episode itself. <laughs> if you stick around, if you stuck around this long, I'm happy for you. You're a true subscriber fan, and I and I love you. <laughs> but let me get to the episode itself. Um, now. In the, the Escape from Midnight Castle thing, let me reiterate something. When I said I really hate it when shows do, like, like back-to-back -back songs and do this and just, like, let the song... Uh, oh, look, here's a song. Here's, here's the, just do that. And I said I hated that. And mostly because I grew up with stuff like that, like High School Musical, how much I said I did not like High School Musical because it's... Let's talk! Song out of nowhere. Let's talk. Song out of nowhere. I hate that. But MLP, this season for now, did it right. They know songs are another way of telling the story. They use the songs to tell the story. Go to this episode. Look at... A, 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 I don't know the title, so I'm just going to make up my own. A true, The True Friend song. Look at the True Friend song. Did you see them just standing around, singing around, and doing nothing? No. You saw them going over and advancing, advancing the plot about all the main characters getting back their cue marks and doing things. And you saw, saw, and in the song where Twilight was pretty much disappointed in herself and say, and say, what have I done? She, in the song, it shows how much it's hurting her friends and hurting the people around them. It, it showed what it needed to show, not just just a random song, just to have a random song. Celestia's little uh, ballad telling uh, Twilight, it's time for your destiny, it's time for you to become a god like me, and stuff like that. It was emotional and moving, and Celestia sang. That's awesome. It, and it just, about everything about it was just fantastic. Now, go to Midnight Castle. They sang a song about finding a, finding the, the, the trinket that held the rainbow. It really means nothing to have that stupid song. Just give her the stupid locket, especially when you found it in such an idiotic place. It made no difference whether the song was there or whether the song couldn't be uh, couldn't be there to advance the plot. The song was just there to add content. Also, don't even get me started about the shoo be doo shoo. -be -doo, shoo -be -doo. The song with the sea ponies didn't need to be there. All you need to do is just get them out of the river and then done. Songs like that where it just takes up space and doesn't advance the plot. And and it just comes up so frequently, especially if the songs aren't even that good. And that's what got me off of High School Musical. It defeats the purpose of Hawaii having a song. This episode proved that you can have like a High School Musical-esque talk song, talk song uh, format. And still have a good episode because they made sense. Now, Star Swirl the Bearded Book. You told me to pay attention to it. I was right about my little theory about how it was uh, Star Swirl's book because it had stars and it was swirling. Eh, it's pretty much the only thing I got off of it, but what can I say? I'm a simple man. Um, so, in the book, it, ha it held a spell that that he used, apparently... What was the spell about? Why did he create the spell to begin with? Is what is, is a, a, if it's hazy to me? Did he create the spell so he can have control over the elements of harmony? Because when Twilight did it, the elements of harmony just whacked out. So if he did it like that, and he didn't understand, he he didn't know that the elements reacted to like unity and friendship. So I would guess Star Swirl was a loner, and he never had any type of friends at all. And since he never had any type of friends, he did this spell, it messed up, and so he just for, forgave up on it, 
And Celestia said Star Swirl didn't know about friendship. So as again, as again I said, he must have been a loner. He must have been someone who's a very powerful unicorn with a lot of magic. Use a spell, and it didn't work because he didn't know anything about friendship. Sounds like somebody we know, hmm? Huh? Just like a little, 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 little out there, you know. Uh, keep calm and flutter on. Uh, Discord clearly stated, I was gonna lose the only friend I've ever had. Okay, it's out there. It's out there. We might we might get Star Swirl in season four. I don't know, but right now my theory is right there. Star Swirl's probably Discord. Discord's probably Star Swirl. What's my proof on this? I, I guess I can just come up with a little thing. One, Star Swirl is a very powerful uh, uh, unicorn. Powerful unicorn using a spell like that to switch up the elements. Who knows when he uses the first time? Like what happened to the elements when he used it though? Obviously, when you chant the words, you do the spell like that, as what Twilight did. So when he did the spell, did the elements of harmony probably did something to him for trying to tamper with it? If that happened, then it's possible that he became like an abomination, like is esque, uh, Draconicus. And and you can probably argue, uh, Celestia and Luna would probably like do something to help their friend since they obviously knew him back in the day. But when Celestia banished uh, Luna to the moon, she kept it under wraps pretty much. Didn't let Twilight know about it. Had to have Twilight think for it, think about it for herself and do the thing. So there's a possibility that they're hiding the fact that he is Star Swirl and he can be Discord. This is like a big revelation. This could be another big revelation thing. So I'm I'm excited for that too. <clears throat> Discord being Star Swirl, interesting. Now, is there anything else? Yes, there, yes, yes, there is, actually. <clears throat> About the uh, uh, in in the episode where Apple Bloom got the cutie pox, I thought that if you got like the the cutie mark, you would be good at it no matter what. In this, it shows no, it does not. Those rules do not apply whatsoever. It actually it actually just does it like change when the, when she did the spell. Did it change their entire memory? Did it change their memory to the point where it did? There's a possibility, since they're connected to the elements of harmony, when she did the with the spell, it rewrote history in a way. Because if it was just rewriting their memory and thinking that they're good at only this, then can't the memory spell that she did in Return of Harmony work? Apparently not. She, she uh, Twilight said it herself. So did it rewrite history only for those, only for them, since they're connect, since they're bonded with the bonded with the elements of harmony? It's a little fuzzy. And weird. It's, it's interesting, really. So I would like to know more about. It. I want you guys, since you are like the smartest people I can go, I can go to. Tell me, like, how did the elements of harmony affect the cutie marks to of the main six, and how did that happen? Because I'm a little, little, little out of it on that one. And yeah. It, it had a beginning, middle, and end. Great, great, great progression. An awesome ending that showed so many possibilities. I found it a little weird that Twilight could immediately fly with those wings. Yes, because, you know, if I just magically sprouted wings, I think I might need a couple of days to, 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 to test those things out. But hey, she's Twilight. She probably read a book about flying even though she didn't have wings for one time. Oh. God, guys, oh, man, okay, I guess that's pretty much it that I can say, it was great to see Vino in the background, at least I have one background pony to put a smile on my face, even though Derpy's gone forever, <laughs> Derpy's gone, <laughs> man, now I bummed myself out after being so happy, anyway, alright, you guys, this is, do you want to build a brony? I've got done with uh, season three of My Little Pony, and when I get back from camp, I'm getting into the movie, and I'm getting into season four, and season four is probably going to be like in New Orleans again, because that's where I'm going straight after I come back, so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy. 
And now, to end this off in the only way that I possibly can to make everything tie together, just, I don't know if I'm meaning this the exact same way that the fandom did, and if I am, that's great. If I'm not, all right. I guess it is started in a sarcastic way, but I truly, sincerely have to say, thanks. Thanks, Amy Larson. Ha <laughs> ha.